The future of the auto industry is EVs, but it, today it is a mishmash of gas power, hybrids, and electric vehicles. It's into that battlefield that the 2023 Toyota Prius will wade. This is the fifth generation of Toyota's standard bearer for efficient motoring, and it looks better than ever. Before we explore the most attractive Toyota hybrid ever, be sure to like and subscribe to the MotorOne.com YouTube channel, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and wherever else you get your social media. Right away, it's important to know that this Toyota Prius looks just like the Toyota Prius Prime. There is no longer a separate Prime-specific exterior design. Happy to see that. It's good because the regular one looks really good. I love the way that the front just kind of terminates at a point. There's this subtle shark nose, and the way the headlights curve around here and then bleed into the grill and run across. It's a really, really cool piece of design. It looks sporty and aggressive, which is kind of the theme with the entire car. Exhibit B are these available 19 inch wheels on what look like low profile tires, but they're actually 50 series. There's a fair amount of sidewall here. It just looks very aggressive because I guess we're not used to seeing 19 inch wheels on a Prius. I dig it though. I also dig the roof line, which is two inches lower than before. Again, Overall, this is a much more sporty, sleek looking vehicle. I also love the way the sill kind of runs straight and then cuts back right here. That is weird and funky and just right for the Prius. And finally, at the back, we have a rear track that is an inch wider and it gives us the Prius a real feeling of width. It has actual shoulders now. And those are all the better to show off this beautiful LED light strip. I'm not as much of a fan as the Prius word mark, but mainly that's because word marks are kind of played out at this point. Overall though, the Prius is a huge, huge upgrade in terms of its exterior design than what came before. Much like the far more handsome exterior, the Prius's cabin gets a big, dramatic upgrade. Gone is the center instrument cluster, and thank God for that. I'm, I'm so happy to see the back of it but there's still some weirdness going on. Yes, the instrument cluster is in front of the driver where it belongs, but you're looking above the steering wheel to see it. That's a little bit weird and is definitely going to take some getting used to. What won't take getting used to is this new infotainment system. This is the optional 12 inch display. An eight inch display is standard, but it runs Toyota's latest infotainment suite. And let me tell you, from every other Toyota and Lexus product I've driven it, it is a big upgrade over what Toyota was doing before. It's quick, responsive, and very, very attractive. And that kind of goes for the rest of this cabin too. It's, it's kind of a radical departure for Toyota. You have this high center console topped by a Lexus style electric shifter. This is basically the same format that you'll find on the LC Grand Tour. I also like that the hit point in here is about an inch lower than before. So it feels like you're sitting in the seat instead of on top of the seat riding high. It gives the Prius a kind of a, a more sporting seating position. And yeah, that's, that's a marked upgrade. This is a much nicer cabin, both in terms of material quality and design too. You get this lovely strip of light here and yeah, it's a, it's a good upgrade. Well done to Toyota. I, I like what they've done here. Guys, the new Prius is quick. A new two liter four cylinder gas engine replaces the old 1.8 liter plant well, the new lithium ion battery pack standard across the range now is 15% bigger than before. Output is up from 121 horsepower to 194 in the front driver and 196 in the all wheel drive model. The run to 60 falls from a lethargic 9.8 seconds to a relatively speaking, very brisk 7.2 seconds. Opt for all wheel drive and the Prius will hit 60 in seven seconds flat. And if you go for the Prius Prime plug-in, you'll be nipping at the heels of a Mini Cooper S. Output for the PHEV Prius sits at 220 horsepower or hundred more than before. As a result, the Prius Prime will hit 60 in just 6.6 .6 seconds or a 10th off the Mini. But performance plays second fiddle to efficiency in the Prius. Toyota isn't releasing full details, but it's promising 57 combined miles per gallon in the standard hybrid. The Prius Prime, meanwhile, sees its 25 mile electric range swell by over 50%. Toyota isn't sharing full details just yet, but it's confirmed that pricing and an official on sale date will come later this year. I'm betting more fuel economy info will come along at that time too. The Prius has always, always been a thrifty vehicle, but this sleek, handsome redesign and the promise of newfound performance make it a tremendous upgrade over what has come before. Whether those changes will bear fruit on the road, well, that's an open question. But for now, 
This car is no longer frumpy, it's no longer boring to drive, it is the new 2023 Toyota Prius.